Hey, what is up everybody? AJ here, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna teach you how to build and create a QR code in the Microsoft Office Suite. The tip I'm gonna give you today is gonna to work in Word, Excel, and PowerPoint. Before we get into it, I wanna answer the question of what is a QR code and why would you wanna use it? So a QR code or a quick response code is essentially an advanced barcode that allows you to share information with your users simply by having them scan that QR code with their smartphone camera. I'm sure you've all noticed a big increase in QR codes, especially in retail, as they use it as a first response to COVID by capturing users' details before they walk into the shop. But you can use your QR code for basically anywhere that you want to share information with your users. So with that being said, let's jump in and learn how to create QR codes in Microsoft Office. So I'm going to teach you how to do this in Microsoft Office for today, but what I'm going to show you is going to work just as well in Excel or PowerPoint. So opening up Word, I'm going to jump over to a blank document. The Office Suite doesn't have an inbuilt feature of creating QR codes, but that's where we're going to use an add-in for Microsoft Office. If you're not sure what add-ins are, they're essentially approved third-party applications that allow you to tie into Microsoft Office. To get the add-in, we're going to go to the Insert section of our ribbon, scroll over to where it says Get Add-ins, and here you're going to see a list of different add-ins for Microsoft Office. In the search box, we're going to simply type in the word QR code and hit Enter. You're gonna see a few different QR code generators. The one I'd recommend to use is the fourth one down the list called QR4 Office. The reason I'd recommend QR4 Office is because it is one of the longest standing QR code generators for Office and it has one of the highest user ratings. To grab it, we're gonna simply scroll over to where it says Add and select on the Add option. Before it ties into Microsoft Office, you have the option of reading the terms and conditions. Have a look at these yourself and if you're happy with the T's and C's, simply hit Continue and you're going to see it pop up in a few seconds on the right hand side. Now that we have the QR4 Office add-in installed in Word, you can see on the right hand side you have a few simple options here. The first one is entering the URL or the text you'd like to encode. What you want to do is hit the drop down menu and choose are you going to send the users to a website, are you going to send them to an email address, a telephone number or are you going to create a custom location for them to be sent to. For this example we're going to send them over to a YouTube page, Looks like I've got one already open here. And this is a great time to remind you that if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. Now back to it. What you want to do is select everything except for the preceding HTTPS, the two colons and the two forward slashes. Grab the URL from www. So we're going to copy that, minimize and jump back into our Word document. The reason you don't want to copy the HTTPS is that you can see it's already here in the drop down menu and you don't want to double up on that because then the QR code will send them to the wrong address or it just might not work. So we're going to drop down the menu here and we're going to select an HTTPS. You're going to see the QR code is going to change a little bit. We're going to paste in our address and you can see it's changed one more time and it's previewed our YouTube channel QR code. Next, if you want to change the colors in the background of this QR code around, you can simply drop down the color options and choose any color you like. You can change the background as well. For this example, we're going to stick with standard black and gray, but you can choose whatever colors you like for your QR codes. You can adjust the size to make it larger or smaller. So let's make it nice and big. And then you can choose the error correction. If we drop down this error correction tab, you can see we have four choices. Basically, the higher you go, once I select on high, you see that code becomes a little bit larger and a lot more complex. What this means is that scanning that QR code will be much more accurate. Whereas if we drop it down to low, you see the QR code becomes a little bit smaller and a lot less complex, which means that there is a greater chance of error. For this example, we're gonna select medium, scroll down and hit insert. If you wanna move the QR code around the page, simply select on the layout option, scroll down to where it says type, and this allows you to move it around the page freely. I'm going to drop it in the center here and I'm going to show you what the user experience is going to look like from their smartphone. Grabbing my iPhone here, I'm going to point it at that QR code. You're going to see a little pop-up saying open in YouTube. We're going to press on that button and you're going to see it will take us straight to our YouTube page. And there you have it. It is that simple to create a QR code in the Microsoft Office suite. This tip I showed you today is going to work in Microsoft Word, Excel and PowerPoint. If you found this video useful, make sure you give it a thumbs up and if you really want to supercharge the way you use Windows 10, hit that subscribe button as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.